All right, so let's look at a, a, one, a specific 1-3 dipolar cycloaddition. And that uh, is going to use ozone. Ozone is going to be our 1-3 dipole. Okay, so let's, uh, what, what do we react with ozone? Well, we react alkenes with ozone. So here is our alkene that we're going to react. This uh, two butene, and we're going to react it with ozone. Let's put in all of our lone pairs in their full splendor, and then formal charges. There's a plus. There's a minus. So what is the mechanism of this cycloaddition? Well, the, the deals all the reaction involved three arrows. Dipolar cycloadditions are also going to involve three arrows. One of the lone pairs and our negative attacks our double bond. Our double bond breaks and attacks the other side of our 1,3 dipole. And this oxygen has a positive charge. It's asking for electrons. So let's give it those electrons and break that, uh, that OO pi bond. And that gives us we follow these arrows, that's going to give us this cycloaddition product. And each of these oxygens is going to have two lone pairs. Now you might be saying to yourself, when I learned the ozonolysis, I never saw that structure. That is not the final product of an ozonolysis. And you are correct, it's not. As it turns out, these three oxygens right together, they are really unstable. Anytime you have electronegative atoms bonded to each other, you're probably going to run into some stability issues. And this is not a stable product. This, this People call this the malosinide. Another name for it is a trioxalane, a 1,2,3 trioxalane, if you're into naming these things. And very few people are, but th this is unstable and it is going to fall apart. And actually, if we continue on thinking about our ozonolysis, we don't just do a cycloaddition on our alkene. We end up cleaving that CO bond. And that's what happens. This thing is, it forms, it's unstable, it decomposes. And ultimately, we can capture those decomposition products and we will get our ozonolysis products. And the identity of those products is determined by what we use to work up our ozonolysis. Was it an oxidative workup or a reductive workup? But, but this thing, this intermediate ring is unstable. Regardless, it does form and it does form and we form, make this five-membered ring. And this arises from a cycloaddition. It is a 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition and an ozone is the 1,3 dipole that undergoes this process. And how does this process work? Well, it works much like the deals all the reaction. We take a 4 pi electron species and it reacts in the presence of a 2 pi electron species and we form a new ring by converting pi bonds to sigma bonds. It is a cycloaddition. We will um, Look in later examples, it's nice to see where you form a ring and that ring is stable. And we'll see some examples where the ring is actually stable and we can uh, isolate that product.